Hello, I'm Martin, the training engineer for Simi Limited. I'm here to do a few informative videos for the domestic user. Here we have a Simi Elite Morel boiler. Uh, you'll notice the configuration on many of our Morel boilers. This is a quick insight to the domestic users section, uh, which is on this lower keypad. As you can see on the screen, we have the temp boiler temperature at the minute, the water pressure inside the system, and as you can see, the snowflake denotes that the system is in heating and hot water mode. The snowflake saying it's winter setting. If you need to set it to a summer setting, you would press the sunshine, but with this operation, you will only get the production of hot water on demand and no central heating, whether a clock is calling or a room thermostat is calling for heat. The system must be on the winter setting for heating and hot water. If you need to change the temperature of your hot water, you would press the tap button, and as you can see, it says set, and the tap symbol's appeared, and we've got 45 degrees. If you need to increase this, you use the plus button, to the desired temperature or the minus to reduce okay when you're finished you can press the tap symbol again and that's your hot water set if you need to set the water temperature in your system as for the radiators you can see the radiator symbol is in the top there but and you notice it's got a number one at the side of it so this is 70 degrees water temperature inside the radiators this isn't a room air temperature this is water temperature for your radiators again you can reduce it or increase it to the maximum obviously each boiler your installer will have set a maximum temperature if you press the radiator again you, we notice it's got a two on the symbol don't take much notice of this it's the number one that is the setting so to stop confusion if you set both one and two to the same temperature there'll be no confusion for you the customer when you're finished again you can press the radiator and that is set with this boiler you get various alarm codes coming up for the boiler which you can find in your user manual if there's at any point get certain codes up here you can on some of them press reset and that will hopefully get rid of the fault code that came up but you must take a note of what fault code come up so you can tell your installer the problem that you may have had with the boiler thank you